in America we have rights and we have the right to decide who is going to remain in our family of choice after we leave our family of origin, our family of birth, our family of bloodline sometimes, or sometimes we're stuck with stepchildren, step siblings that are not really a part of our life but have been commandeered through the relationships of our marvelous father or mother or their life partners, wives or husbands in life. The liars of America don't think about what their children feel or experience when they make and mix their, mi their mingling in business and pleasure. They don't think about what God's doing for their life and they often think, I will do what God wishes for me up to this point and then I'm going to say no to the rest and I'll be fine. I hate to tell you this, but I have never in my life seen that work. When one of my siblings married the wrong man, and actually both of them did, but when one of them really, really married the wrong man, the entire family suffered for it. The entire family had to deal with it. When I possibly married someone who wasn't quite perfect for me as they should have been, my family didn't exactly suffer for it, but they did have to experience his immoral, illogical, and foreign thinking behavior of being an overindulged child from a time in life when I was not there. The life partners of our life can impact our family of origin, but generally speaking, when we have a family of life partnership, we move away from our family and we do our own thing. Only usually in times of troubles and challenges and problems and crises, or in times of holidays and celebrations and remembrances, do we come back together as a family.